Hello friends, my name is Jabrash Pathak and I welcome you to this video. First of all, just wanted to give you some some idea about what's going on. So actually I'm creating a website as a portfolio for my company and and that will display all the projects which we have done, all other stuff, all the GitHub links, all the members who are there in our group. So basically that will represent everything which we have done. So just wanted to show you the process of how it is done. Well, I have not figured out how to, how to do it. Well, which are the technologies to use and what, what will be the process of whole, like controlling, controlling that website with the admin panel and everything. So that you'll be seeing in this particular video. So let me actually show the plan and the technology which I'll be using to make this. Up. So what, what basically the plan is that there will be a central server. Basically, there will be a central server. And this is the main server, which will be made in Express.js. Okay. Express.js. Okay. And there will be a back, a front end. Okay front end which will be made in react okay and this will be connected with this with two-way linking by two-way linking i mean the data could be sent and received with like uh, in the both of the direction okay then there will be another both way direction to the server which will be connected to a storage okay uh, that is that looks like a database but that is a storage so let me write that now what technology should i use like there's two options available first is to store the data directly in the server which can be costly and inefficient so the another way could be like to use any storage service such as amazon aws amazon aws not aws actually it is called s3 okay so amazon s3 will be used for storage uh, Express.js will be used for server and React will be used for front end. Why uh, uh, this is the current structure? Other than this, like uh, we'll be using other technologies. Let me mention some of them. We'll be using uh, Passport.js for for authentication. Okay. Uh, we'll be using uh, GraphQL for. for uh, like uh, database manipulation directly from the front end and which it, ba it makes the work very easier i'll let you know more about this well i have to read this i do not have a lot of experience using graphql so i'll be i have to study and understand how the graphql works uh, passport js i have experience so that is like okay react that's okay i all like almost all the time work in react express js okay the for the uh, and one yeah one more important part you must be thinking okay I'm happy I didn't forget so I'm going out of the screen so that is like database so uh, b database I basically have two choices and I could go with any one of them but I have to do a lot of like uh, a little bit of research before selecting the first one is to use MongoDB or rethink DB I most probably am using MongoDB so let's write that MongoDB both has its own advantages and disadvantages so this is the current plan and none of these things will be directly accessible by front end like the front end cannot directly access the database it has to go with the server and this is important for uh, the safety and security of the site there will be like an another website another small website which will be called admin panel okay and this website will be uh, will also be in react by the way and we'll be consuming a lot of uh, component which were all which are already made in this front end in this particular uh, web, uh, in this particular uh, uh, site okay so this is the current structure which we will be following so uh, passport js graph ql and uh, some of the more technologies which we'll be using are styled component styled components okay and these things or like uh, for the we, we are you i'm using style component i just because i want to keep this whole thing in javascript right so this everything you know 100 percent of the code written in this particular thing will be javascript so i hope so this was clear okay
so friends uh, this is my website as you can look uh, this is like I pretty much the idea behind you know this design is I wanted to keep my website clean as clean as possible so this was the design which I came up with oh, why okay this was the design this is the small mouse interaction I'll show you what small things I put so this is the small mouse interaction and when you scroll down you'll see this navigation bar you know that thing I liked so and this is what we do so I design web development Android development iOS again web developments so i have to change that to something else this is a prototype so don't think take this as a final thing still like a lot of things could be changed because of the final product in the final website which i'll be building on the react there will be like react spring let me actually show you that uh, i you know recently came to know about this this is a very cool library through which you can make awesome animations okay okay this is cool to play okay and let me show you the examples so we'll be using this also in the final website when i'll be building man can you see that that's cool right and this one also uh you can flip this this thing like that all that all that cool stuff you know uh, you can make animation so this is the website i have uh, found like uh, recently so i'll be using this also in the final website so a lot a lot, a lot more animation you'll be seeing here is like small this thing this thing like well it is done with the javascript so this is the code for it okay um, to do this that's okay and this is uh, all the technology stack which i'm using i'll be adding more to it because i actually am using more than this to build all the things which uh, are mentioned over here and one more thing now don't laugh after seeing this this is not at all responsive okay so as you can see this all becomes a garbage when you go to mobile so yeah i'll, I'll fix that when i uh, when i'll go to my react website i'll like make it mobile first so that mobile ui will be constructed first and then after i'll be making the desktop one and you can see pretty much it there's like one more section which i am going to build so this is a prototype in the next part of the this series where I'm building this website I will most probably include how I converted this website into an react application so I hope you like it bye bye hello friends I so just have a final message for you like uh, this website is uh, currently under development in the same time I'm developing an app for sharing study materials with you know among yourself so that is also a thing which I'm doing currently and uh, I hope so everything will go lo uh, go right. A lot of projects are in my mind which I am currently planning on building but I couldn't build due to this thing. This thing, let, let's complete this one first, okay? And then after we'll be building all other things. Thank you and <clears throat> may you have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.